Welcome to Talking Points here on Dean TV with uh, Stephen Taylor. It's good to have you along. And um, I just want to laugh when I mention this guy's name, man. Conrad Koch, how are you, buddy? Uh, great, great. Good Thanks for having me here. Finally, Thanks, man. Stephen. Yeah, it's been ages, I man. You and Chester, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, um, tell us about you, man, where you grew up. Because, I mean, everyone knows Chester Missing. Who is yeah. Conrad Koch? I mean, I'm from Rondebosch uh, and Cape Town. And, um, yeah. I so went Cape to school Town. in the area. Yeah, very much so. I went to the southern suburbs and all the privilege and apartheid in this <laughs> involves. Born in, the, born in the late 70s and school in 80s, 90s, and um, yeah. So, so how old are you now, may I ask? I'm 39. Wow. So no, your 40th birthday next year. Uh, don't talk about that. So we're having a party, hey? No, we're, no, why? No. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. And you're not the 40-year-old version. The very old virgin, I've got jokes about that, but no, I'm not. I've got, even though I talk to puppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How does that feel? Hey, do you like that? Uh, did yeah, you, did you ever growing up puppets. think, oh, I'm going to grow up? Talk I'm going to puppets. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. It's like hard to, like, there's no format. If you become a lawyer or an actuary or something, there's like a career path. When you become a ventriloquist, there's no career path. You just make it up as you go. So what are, where did your love for the entertainment industry, where did your love for comedy? Because obviously you started as a, as a comic. Um, well, no, I started out as a magician. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Like uh, we, a whole lot of us did. Riyad Musa was a magician. Stuart Taylor was a magician because the, the College of Magic's in Cape Town. That's where you studied? Yeah. Well, it's a weekend thing. So you go on a Sunday, uh, a Saturday morning, and then you learn how to do magic tricks when you're like nine. Over a weekend? No, just in the morning, oh, like wow. for an hour. Like, uh, like people have just, soccer yeah. or karate. Oh, you went every week? Once a week okay. for an hour, okay. you go on a uh, Saturday. And then you can also learn to juggle and do ventriloquism. Oh, nice. So I just learned ventriloquism. And it, then uh, you kind of do kids' birthday parties and events. And you're, like, you're just a little kid who does yeah. magic. It's yeah. as dorky as it sounds. And then you is, there still a, is, that, is that still a thing? Do people still do that, make money from that? Yeah, yeah, they do, I guess. But I mean, it's, you make more doing corporate work yeah. or, or yeah. if you get it right. But the... Uh, but yeah, people, there's really good kids entertainers in South Africa and they go to kids parties and they make a, you know, they can do, because there are a lot of kids birthday parties yeah. and then they're more kids birthday parties That's and they are end of year functions. So yeah. they do well out of it in the College of Magic, which is more focused on like kind of child development. So it's like getting confidence and uh, learning a skill and the discipline it takes to do a show and presenting yourself and so that's where you learned basically yeah. how to basically yeah how to put a show together and make is that it still going very much so really? yeah it's rocking yeah it's well, great it's in Lansdowne road, road and can, okay. yeah you should go do you still go there do you still um I, yeah i should but uh, i'm because i kind of live in two cities yeah. it's it, the timing gets difficult to say to your wife when you get back having gone away for like yeah. a half a week saying oh, i'm going off to yeah. the college of magic now nah, like yeah of course you are <laughs> So how is that? Does it become like hectic on your relationship, like going up and down, or does she come with you sometimes? We manage it. She's also a performer. So okay. she's got a show now at the Alexander Bar uh, with Charles Tertians, Carla yeah, Hari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, Carla Hari guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they, they, they've got a cabaret show. So she does that. So no, we, she travels sometimes, or I, or I go with her, or... Uh, and I try and balance it that it, it actually works out. Okay, so, so it just, it just you've got to be disciplined. And yeah. part of that discipline means being very brutal with your time. You can't say, like, I, I don't just arrive at places. Yeah. 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 So she obviously, being in the same industry, she understands your schedule and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, it, can, it can get hectic. I mean, yeah, she's very supportive, very supportive. It does get hectic when you've got to do a whole lot in a row and TV stuff especially. Because when I was on TV, it was... Um, cabinet ministers and stuff so as you know yeah. if you get someone you have to do it immediately okay. and it's weird that eight tomorrow morning in Pretoria ah really okay all right and get on a plane do the research three hours sleep but then you're ready for the interview have you done stuff overseas uh yeah I mean I performed with overseas you, uh, with you and Chester, you and Chester? So, yeah yeah I mean as a just for laughs comedy festival last year How was, that? I was in New York well, just for laughs the biggest comedy festival in the world comedy oh, central nice. took us out and it was huge me and Jason Goliath Jason Goliath and I went and oh, nice. it's massive I mean you're on a festival where Chappelle's performing Louis CK is performing Wanda Sykes was on you know oh, it's huge you got yeah. to meet those people uh well I mean some of them uh I did, I've got to meet uh, Jimmy Carr a little bit. Um, you're hanging out in a bar area where everyone is. Bill Burr, met Bill Burr. So it's like, yeah, it's pretty wow. And you're close to their development process, which is the 
most valuable thing is seeing how they build a show. So who are the people that you looked up to growing up? Who, who, you, who inspired you to do what you're doing now? Um, because it's a, it's a very weird thing in South Africa that because we didn't have international television and the internet wasn't there, yeah. y- who do you get the information from yeah. about what the standard is? And it's something I'm very jealous of. American comics grow up watching Johnny Carson or they, go, they grow up seeing, like, you know, mm. Letterman, they get to see people and whoever was on at the time. Mm. So they, they knew what the standard was. Uh, 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 Richard Pryor, you know, everyone knows who Richard Pryor is. Yeah. It took me years to find out who Richard Pryor was because I was living in apartheid South Africa. It's not like Richard Pryor's on TV all the time. So um, it, Peter Dirk Ace obviously was very influential. Mark Banks was very influential. Um, um, Bill Cosby was around. Eddie Murphy came in. And then, you know, comedy got influenced by uh, Eddie Izzard later on. Yeah. So, uh, Did you ever watch Telephone Quiz? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> remember that? Did you watch uh, that? Did, yeah, I did. I can't remember Jack all of them. <laughs> and Pumpkin Patch? Pumpkin, of course, yeah. yeah pumpkin dude, Patch, on, Gummy man. Bears, those things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our weird cultural references that the rest of the world doesn't give Jack about. So <laughs> what, what were some of the highlights of your career so far? I mean, people that you've met that you went, wow, is this really happening? What are, do you have any of those moments? Of course we all have those moments. They're things that are like profoundly um, like changing. Um, I, wow. Um, I, it was amazing being at the ANC conference in the tent when Jacob Zuma got re-elected. Uh, because I was able to take live news and immediately make it satire, immediately. So they crossed live to you? Well, yeah, loads. And then they also, but it was, you could tweet it and you could immediately, you could walk out and interview senior youth league guys, cabinet ministers, and then that within an hour or two would be on TV. And and it's it's like an amazing, and you're in the tent with this life changing, this this country changing moment is happening. So that kind of stuff, and there were loads of incidents like that. The first EFF manifesto launch where you know, Juju comes out and there's 35,000 fighters and and the, the 2,000 fighters go, Chester, Chester, this whole bank of dudes, and Chester gets to shout at them. Um, uh, and, and just the moment of creating that, the sort of the process of creating that late night news was incredible. Just for laughs last year was absolutely incredible. I mean, it got to do Canadian TV and... What was the response? You took Chester there well, as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, good, but I had to adjust a lot because, uh, because you know, I'm studying anthropology. Yeah. So the, 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 when I write jokes, it often ha- it, it's generally based on a sort of structure of thinking. I won't bore you to tears by telling you the structure of thinking, but that it's about how our politics works and how our race politics works, which is very influenced by apartheid and the discourse of rainbow nationalism. A lot of my jokes are driven around that stuff. So I had to extract that from the jokes in order for it to be translatable outside of South Africa. So the idea of non-racialism or the idea of reconciliation as discourse don't exist in Canada where they have like four black people. So you have to go back to the drawing board and go, what do they know? Let me build from there. But once I did that, it very, did very well. And also- Research is important. It goes beyond research. You, you can't know it until you go on stage. Yeah. That they don't, like a thing that you're going, so you've never thought about that idea. This is a totally South African idea. Yeah. And okay, right, well that changes all this material. I need to do it like that. You don't have, you don't have, any form of, a, there's affirmative action, but they, they, they won't refer to like a Musi Maimani, Helen Zilla stereotype where the, the black, you know, a white power, economic power, Lonman, Sol Ramaphosa, those conversations. Mm-hmm. So the short answer is it worked very well, but I needed to adjust a lot. And now that's what I'm working on is developing something off that. Another profound moment was, um, is I got an award from Ahmed Katrada for, uh, for my stance against racism, which is, I don't like to talk about it a lot because it's a weird thing because there are black people who deal with more racism and deconstructing racism every day than I'll experience in my entire life. So it was a bit weird, but um, it was pretty profound. The guy who was on jail, who was in jail with Nelson Mandela going, well done, that's, oh geez, that's what quite- What was that for? What did you, you obviously well, took a stand, right? Of, yeah, that was off the back of the whole court case with Steve Hoffman and racism oh, and stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think about racism since then? I mean, now we've had people like Penny Sparrow oh, and like- Bloody man, everyone's being racist. <laughs> Even Shapiro the other day, who knew that he could be racist? Well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. But, um, you know, 
I don't think he meant to. No, 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 no. He, it, because you don't know, because you don't mean to be racist doesn't mean you're not being racist. I mean, yeah. just because you don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's of course. It just be, be, it's just no one who thinks they're sexist. Who, uh, most people who are sexist don't think they're sexist, yeah. but they're sexist. Yeah. That's, most racism is because we're unaware of it. There's a lot of racial tension in the country at the moment. Well, I don't think that, I, I, the way I understand it is it, it, there always was racial tension. Yes. It's just more in the spotlight. We were talking about it more, yeah. which is a, a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. And so it looks like there are more racists, but no, those, they were always there. You just can see yeah. them now. Yeah. So we're going to bring our chest in a moment. Um, tell us about what he's been up to. Uh, in the suitcase, he's yeah. uh, Wi-Fiing. He's, good. he's really? tweeting people. Yeah. Look inside. Tell us. He lies there. And then he lies <laughs> tweeting. He went missing on a flight back from Canada the other day. And then... Tell us about that. What happened? His bag just didn't arrive on Air France flight. And then oh, Air wow. France didn't know what they had lost. So there was a bag went missing. Oh, okay. So, but you don't understand, Air France, you've lost a person. Like, this is a guy people talk about. Yeah, but not before I could go to town in it. So he... He started tweeting from in his bag, <laughs> and then he was live videoing it. And then I'm in my bag. Oh God, I can't see there. Yeah, like, I don't know where I am. I can hear French voices. And does he have a girlfriend? No, he doesn't. He says he's in a polygamous relationship with four Barbie dolls. Is the joke? Oh, wow. But um, he doesn't because he's got to go on dates with me. And that's how do you do that? He, oh, he's on Tinder, but it's how's your guy's relationship here? Yeah. Huh? Uh, well, it's difficult. No, it's getting no. We're mates. We're mates. No, you can. We're mates, but. Um, it's imagine your entire life required to have someone else carry you around yeah. and you can't do anything unless their hand is in your bum. So he's got a toilet, everything there, right? No, it, well, he doesn't, he doesn't have a digestive system, Stephen. He's a puppet, but okay. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> no, so what you got to do now to explain it, I'll accept out of the story. Actually, what you got to do. No, no, that's exactly the joke. What you got to do is you got to be true to the real world he lives in, which is that he is a puppet in a bag. So that is what he is. So he's not a real person. He's not a real person. He's not, a, but he is a real person. Wrong information, man. Come on. He's part of me. <laughs> All right, so we'll bring him out in a moment. It's uh, talking point with Stephen Taylor, Conrad Koch. We'll get to Chester missing in a moment. You don't want to miss that. Stay tuned, man. It's going to be awesome. Welcome back to Talking Point with Stephen Taylor here on Dean TV. It's good to have you along. Conrad, you're still here, buddy? Oh, yeah. Do you think that we should even um, attempt? Yeah. Do you think Very that we should shots. even attempt to get him out of the bag, it's man? Do you think we should try? See. Bro, are you ready? What? Are you ready? Are we? Where are we? We're Top TV. That's an ironically named channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stephen Taylor. It used, to, it used to be Top TV, man. Just a missing, you horrible thing, you. You got a sexy haircut, guy. Thank you, man. Sexy. Nearly as good as yours. I know, we look like dildos. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you look like a hairy doll, though. Well, well, thank you, man. Thank you. you so how you been, man? So how you been? How's it been in the suitcase? Is it it's nice in my suitcase. It's nice. got Wi-Fi. It is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, suitcase. Do you pick up signal everywhere? I do. No, 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 <laughs> no. Because we, we ran out of airtime the other day. So can I just press this button over here quickly? There we go. Oh, yeah. Not your button. Nearly. There we go. I, what? What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Yes, to do his own stuff. <laughs> I do it. I do my own Huge stunts too. Yeah? Yeah, his own stunts. I can yeah. see that. So how you been, buddy? I, know, I saw that you. Um, I saw that you. Uh, they they lost you the other day. How was that? Yeah, that was hectic, eh? Yeah, Airfronts. Yeah, it was Airfronts, and then they didn't know where I was. And you know what it's like being missing when your name is missing. <laughs> yeah, that is, that it's is insane, weird, Stephen. It's insane. And I ended up. I was lying there, hello, and then the guy came. Uh, bonjour, I said, hello, this is Heinz the world's first uh, puppet suicide bomber. Okay. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> what? So have you ever, do you ever think that you'll get rid of this dude? Do you ever think that you'll get rid of him? No, no, no. He's like syphilis. He's forever. <laughs> <laughs> How's your guys' relationship? Hey, how do, I mean, how do you get, do you get on with him? I don't know. I think you're a bit mean to me. Oh, that's because you are a You are. <laughs> you are. It's for TV. I don't care. So do you have a girlfriend, Chester? Come on, tell us. Do I have a girlfriend? Can you see whose hand is in <laughs> Have you ever tried to Come pick up a lady with a guy's hand in your... <laughs> Just imagine how that would work. I, I, don't, I don't, don't, don't even want to go there, man. I don't want to go there. No, well, his hand did. 
So you've been quite quiet, man. Where you been? I've been in like that. No, no, we're writing a new show. No, we're working, we're working on stuff that's, uh, what would you say? International, that are not just, you know, Jacob Zuma jokes, Julius <laughs> jokes. We've got those the days. Have you met Jacob Zuma? Uh, I got close, very, very, hilariously close. So one time that Nang Aung, I was across on him and he was in Tebe Investments. He was in Tebe Investments. <laughs> then. They, got, they got a thing called, um, was it the Progressive Business Forum, Forum, Progressive Business Forum. And there's a whole set of like a, like a, what's a trade show, like a trade show. And then Jacob Zuma's in Tebe Investments. And then I'm standing outside commenting on, and you can see Jacob Zuma is in an investment portfolio, <laughs> which is deeply ironic. <laughs> So you tweet a lot, man. You got like I over 100,000 followers on Twitter now. 200 and... Oh, 200 wow. and something, yeah. Seems no, it's fine, it's fine. Not on Twitter that much. I can see that. I can see that you're at the hairdresser. <laughs> yes, I was. So you got way more followers oh, than... I had the are longer than your hair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, <clears throat> politics. It's been... It's quite hectic in this country at the moment, Chester. What, what are your thoughts? You know? I think Julius has created a really good sideshow. He's yes, got... He's controlling parliament. Is He's driving the lek and they're yeah. nuts. No, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm just working on stuff. I'm not, you know, you know, I've been commenting on a daily basis for years now. So it's time to just chill out, have a, have a face, you know, face mask. Wait, where were you going? I don't know where I was going with that. So you handed over the button to Julius. What were you saying? Face, <laughs> what? Just, we're talking about Julius now. I don't care about Julius. <laughs> You've got nice blue eyes, man. Thanks, guy. I know, yeah. I know, I know. I look hot, man. Yeah, I look hot. I look, I can, I am very good at a staring contest. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I don't blink. <laughs> I'm that hardcore. <laughs> I'm the ninja. So tell me, can we classify now? Are you a black guy, a white guy, a colored guy? Do, do we even know? Do we even know? I'm <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Stevie, I don't give a damn, dude. I live in a suitcase. <laughs> He is, I was white, then I was black, now I'm white again. I'm like right. Michael Jackson on steroids. <laughs> so no, the, 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 in the last show we did, uh, so the f we did a show a while ago where he accused me of blackface. Yes. And then, because you are, you're a racist, I'm not. <laughs> you're like the Takalani Sesni version of Leon Schuster. <laughs> Come on, man. Then what happened is we did, uh, then, we, then, then the last show, it was, it was, what did you do? Oh, that was hilarious. I showed how I became black. So wow. it just did a video where he exposed me where I held him down and shaved his hair off and he had blonde hair. I'm not the only one shaving my head, dude. No, yeah. not at all, not at all, not at all. It's you, me, and half the country. <laughs> And then, and then, um, and then made him black. And then the end of the show, he calls me backstage. And I knock him out, and I shave his hair off, and I make him wow. black. Yeah, I know it's wow. the most racist thing you've ever seen in your life. So where, where, where did you grow up? Where were you born? Uh, Stephen, I thought that. <laughs> that would come on. I didn't come out of the. <laughs> no, I, I hated the. I know it's shocking. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm made of the latex. I, I, I got made. I got made. Is that a real person? Why am I even speaking to you? Who are you, man? <laughs> You're the one on top TV. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> so, uh, man, I don't know what to say. You got a porn channel called On Top TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give me a heart attack, Chester. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and I'm only 33. <laughs> It was my birthday the other day, man. I, you didn't even wish me. I WhatsApped you and you didn't wish me. You're horrible. Which guy? What can I say? I thought the wife I was broken. You wouldn't tell me the password. It's password. What? It's password. So how can I? Password is password. Is. Can I come stay with you one day in the suitcase? What, dude? You you like three times the size of the suit. You won't fit. What are you gonna put your leg in? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Just your. But you like that thing? Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. PG rated. I do not care. Wow. Okay. Where is this interview going, Kester? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Thanks, man. No, you're doing well, Andre Trotty. You're <laughs> one of my favorite guys. I like how he's doing. He's doing his on radio Thank for you. years. Yeah. yeah. Will you be voting in the election, Chester? And you're not getting this. I don't have an ID book. I didn't come out of a the. <laughs> I can't get an ID. Even Malusi Gigaba tried to. Malusi Gigaba, uh, really? once. Yeah. Gave Chester ties as a Christmas present. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. So, uh, so they got a good relationship. And Chester asked them, can you get an ID book? But they can't because I don't have a birth certificate. Oh, no. And because wow. you know what you've got to do to get a birth certificate. No, I, I think so. Come out of the. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's it.
But cannot, can he not adopt you and like make it official, you know? No, because no, I, I needed latex. Okay. It's like adopting a <laughs> Wow, okay. But it, it has been an issue because wow. it means he can't vote, but it does make him outside the system. Can yeah. you not talk about me in the third person? I'm sorry, but you are outside the SIN, outside the system. It's like watching you guys throw on the outside. Is that why he expresses himself so much? Because he can't really, he can't vote. So Are you talking vote. about me? I, I am. Oh, that's a top TV move. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, top. But we were... Open VHD is ETV, you guys. We're on ETV. Exactly. Yeah. Open HD is... What the hell is he saying? I <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, you know, the thing is that I wish I could vote, but I can't. So it's just a matter of not. If you could vote, who would you vote for? That's a good question. Mm. That is a good question. Onto Holomisa. Really? Yeah, his <laughs> head is, is the same size as my the head. General, eh? Yeah, the general. general Onto Holomisa. Yeah. What did every time you see... Bantula me say he, he punches me. Does he? Yeah, he punches me. Yeah. It's rude That's to him. So you threatened to hit me with a shambok. So if I did this now, I wouldn't get assault I wouldn't get arrested because you're a puppet. Yeah. That's quite cool. <laughs> Can I do it? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have issues, guy. <laughs> do they let you into Toys R Us? They don't. I can they see why. <laughs> So if I want to buy a Chester missing like you, can I, how, where do I go? Can they sell, are they, are we, are they You want to buy a puppet? Yeah. Uh, Parliament, I don't know, a and 7 a <laughs> and 7 definitely. So have you been You to can't buy, you can't buy, you can't buy, you know, it's a made, made thing. Actually, it's quite amazing seeing him get made. What, they sculpt my head out of clay, and they make a mold there. The one eyebrow is like a bit uh, offish no. there. No, it's an entity, it's an, like an angle, like oh, an right. attitude. I only have the one emotion in my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm like a generations actor. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's it. Eh? So, have you been to Ankandla, Chester? Uh, I got invited there by Goethe and Natasha. Yeah, Goethe invited. So you went there. <laughs> <laughs> He picks up weight the more we see him. I don't know. No, Maybe I it's know, just the camera angles, eh? We all know. We, all know. <laughs> we love Gwede, the uncle, yeah. eh? <laughs> I like Gwede. It was our first big interview, our first big major interview that sort of opened doors to get yeah. bigger. We got a whole lot of more, like, Moosey when he was the only spokesperson of the DA. Who else? Ronald Lamola. Ronald Lamola. Oh, Ian Ollis. Yeah, yeah <laughs> those guys, yeah. So is any of that stand out? Any of the interviews that like... Interviews, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sihle Zikalala from the KZN. Uh, Sihle Zikalala came on the show because he wanted to correct some information, but he was there. And he did that He's with asked to come on and wow. did it with Chester. <laughs> so I asked because... A bit of a low blow there, eh? No, I know, I know. <laughs> no standards. He should have come on top TV. The, 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 <laughs> ANC, no, what happened, what happened? We wanted to correct that the ANC had grown so much in KZN, we were going, you guys are making up numbers. So then he, he came to tell us, no, he's going door, he is actually going door to door. So he said, oh, so you're like the little Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you, have you let Zuma into your life? <laughs> so you've been with the uh, Deputy President as well, Sir Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa yeah, tell us about yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Well, that when we got the award. Oh, yes, yeah, no, I asked him that, what he would do. He's the same height I am, so it was an easy interview. Oh, right. And we went to... <laughs> He's got the same hairstyle as well. As well. <laughs> and then at, at the 103rd birthday, you were at the 103rd oh, birthday, okay. uh, Ram poses on stage and Chester's here and he says, happy birthday to you, how old are you now? And there's a big cake. It was massive cake, like an RDP Did you have a piece house. of the cake? No, oh. I didn't eat. Did no, you eat the no. cake? I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of enjoyed that. So hey, King, what is the school shoes? I stole, <laughs> stole those from Cyril. <laughs> They're his shoes. But um, no, they, ha, he, so there's a cake, there's 103 in it. And then I, I sh he says, happy birthday to you. How old are you now? And then as he goes, how old are you now? Chester What's shouts. What's the in that? Ramaphosa. Oh, thank goodness. He shouts, as, how old are you now? Chester shouts, it's on the cake, Cyril. <laughs> So everyone, what the? Thank goodness it wasn't Tuma because he, he can't count the numbers. Apparently. Yes, I know the numbers. Yeah, uh, how old are you now? Two, One, two, three. Ten, three. Let's start again. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, what's next for you, buddy? What have you been up to? Uh, next time going back in the suitcase. Well, we've got um, a big show we'll be doing on 23rd and 24th, I think it is, uh, of 
September, if oh, you come nice. just for our own show in Cape Town. Where will that be? At the Baxter. Okay. The, the concert, all nice big shows. So just, you know, two people days, come. Yeah, just two nights in and out. We're working on new stuff. So you'll see if you. I'm definitely going to be there. Twitter feeds. Yeah, cool, bro. We'll invite you. And then. Well, the Chester will let me come. Will you let me come? Yes, yes. I'm. I'm what? You buy tickets. It's not. I don't stand there, Stephen. <laughs> It's not like top TV. <laughs> it's one guy at a time. They can, but the, but other than that, we're just around. I mean, you'll see, what are you saying? I don't know. We're, we're going to Switzerland, aren't we? I know, I'm touching myself. <laughs> wow, okay. <clears throat> I don't know what to say, man. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Sound like Gwede and I. <laughs> um, and then, and then uh, lots of club gigs around South Africa. Uh, we're doing big lineups in Durban. If you watch out for us there, so you know. Do you eat roti in Durban, Chester? Stephen, I'm not that, that. I don't eat. <laughs> I got the wrong script. Come on, they gave me the wrong. <laughs> I don't know. What that. Hey, yeah, but, a, we, but you can we, speak. I can speak. I know it's okay. a weird thing. I, he's I a ventriloquist. Oh. Not a good one. Let's <laughs> stop. No, in uh, Durban, in, in Durban, in Durban, what do we do in Durban? I don't know. Indian people in Durban like it when like Indian jokes that we don't do those kind of jokes. So do they like you there? People do. Well, it, oh, what do they do? They like me there. Go to hell, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever received death threats? Hey, Chester? Uh, no, not myself. Not myself. This guy's got dirty clothes. Got wrath of this guy, so. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Are we going to threaten that? Uh, no, it's you that thought that I'm talking to. <laughs> Chester, you're a legend, man. Even that's though you don't like you. me, that's okay. I, I like, like you. you. Okay. I do like you. I do like, I like your hairstyle, man. We yeah, should like put you. like. Do you have a cap? We should put our heads together, Steve. That's the what? Thing. It would look like a black cap, dude. Eh? Like one of those. Eh? It doesn't stick. It does stick. It doesn't stick. It does. Stick. We'll get one of those ones that do stick. Eh? Do you shave every day? Oh, there we go. It doesn't work. <laughs> gangster, you look gangster now. You look like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your tie that Malusi gave you? I'm gonna throw no, it. I don't wear ties anymore. It's Why? uncool. No, no, no. It's styling. Yeah, no, you need to look. What? I see you've got a new outfit. That's right. You're looking styling now. I know. I look like a freaking top TV ad. <laughs> do top TV presenters get their clothes at top shop? They do. You know, face clothing. <laughs> Uh, go back in the suitcase, you're horrible. No, just get no, back, I, just get in no, here, man. Just on, just no, get in there. No, no. Get in Stuart there, man. Taylor, Steven Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> <Stuart>. <laughs> just get in the bag. Just get just get in. He's, uh, he's a handful, hey? Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Conrad, thank you so much, man. Thanks, it was really good having you yeah, here. Thanks, thanks, bro. Cheers. Where can people find you online, eh? Yeah. Um at Conrad Koch, uh, at Chester Missing is the bigger one where I do more jokes on, but I'm kind of taking a social media break for a while. So just to not be involved in the daily jokes. Uh, but Chester's still currency. tweeting, right? No, he's not. No, he's we're not totally Twitter. off. Right. Well, he's not off Twitter. He's there. He will let you know if there's shows. They may tweet a joke or two, but uh, at the moment, if, you, if you're too much in what's happening today, right. then your material becomes extremely time specific. So we're working on more long term, interesting race stuff. Do you have a website? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Conradkoch.com, C O N R A D K O C H. Dot com or Mr. Chester Missing on Facebook. So yeah, we're everywhere, you know, these things are. Yeah. Conrad, thanks, thank you so much for coming in finally, yeah. man. It was really good. Enjoy talking. Thanks, thank bro. You so much, yeah. Buddy. Uh Conrad Koch right here on Talking Point with Stephen Taylor. That is the end of the show for today. Uh, get in touch at Stephen Taylor SA and of course uh, like my Facebook page, Facebook.com uh, forward slash talking point. And if you want to get in touch with the show, talking point at DNTV.co today. Have a great one. Take it easy. Bye bye. <laughs>